Hey, it's a big day. Thursday, June 8th, 2017. And it's Big Bob. And yes, today's word? Jesus. That's the word today, Jesus. There should be a song about that. Jesus. I'm thinking about Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Jesus will save you. See, that'd be a good song. You could write it, huh? Jesus is awesome. Hooray for Jesus. Hey. All right, what's happening? This person's going to bail out. I'm going to try this new this new portal here where you're not supposed to get out of the lane. So I'm going to do my Devo. I'm, I'm actually uh, driving sort of, I'm not driving randomly, but I'm just sort of driving along here on this uh, uh, diverted road uh, just so I can say I did it. <laughs> And I, I was on the phone this morning. I've crossed over now into the eastbound lanes. I'm going westbound on the eastbound lanes. I've officially crossed over the freeway here. And I'm going. This is amazing. This, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. See, look. There's the, there's the westbound. I'm on the eastbound, separated by a temporary K rail. Incredible. Now I can, you can say you were with me here. How about that, huh? That's really crazy. I don't know why they're doing that, but I guess they just want to have more volume. More volume. You know, if I had hair, I'd say, give me more volume. <laughs> uh, uh, you, listen, pal, before you have volume, you got to have quantity. you got to have something to give volume to. You know, you can't have a, an empty, you can't have a imaginary cup and fill it with volume. You know, you got to, you got to actually have a real cup. So you got to have hair to have volume. Okay. Well, what hasn't been said about Jesus? <clears throat> it really doesn't make any difference if you're going to be a copycat or if you're going to be someone who uh, is uh, duplicating. The point is, is that our relationship, our conversation, our communication needs to be with Jesus. We need to have that conversation, that communication, that fellowship with Jesus. Every single day with Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's just something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus. Like the fragrance after the rain. I'm getting quite, quite a singer, aren't I? No, I'm just the old man here. I'm going back over to the westbound lanes now. Here I go. I'm back over the westbound lanes. And, uh, all righty. So I'll probably get turned around here real quick, like, and we'll be back on our way. Well, today, as we look at the Word, as we look at the person of Jesus, Jesus really is amazing. He is amazing and being God Jesus will never be fully known we can never fully know Jesus we can never fully know God it's, it's always that's one of the things that makes life exciting is the reality of the adventure and excitement of daily living. Uh, I, I've never done this before. I'm getting off here at La Crescenta Avenue and I'm going to head on up because I have my time with the Lord and with you and uh, I'm going to head up. I'm going to head up La Crescenta Avenue up to Foothill and I'll cruise on back down and I've got coupons here. If you like a coupon, let me know. My, my good buddy gave me coupons. So I'm going to get a I'm going to spend a little bit of money for one sandwich. I get two sandwiches. And then uh, what I do is I take the muffins off and I put a little butter on them and a little bit of, little bit of uh, strawberry jelly and salt and pepper for the eggs. I have a whole breakfast. <coughs> I know they want me just to put the old chompers down and chomp down on the, on the sandwich, you know. But that's not what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to just chomp down on the sandwich. No, sir. I'm going to uh, take the sandwich all apart, dissect it basically. It's kind of funny because they give you the egg and the sausage and the biscuit, but there's no spreads or sauces or mayonnaise or nothing. It's just like dry bread and meat and a little egg. 
that's supposed to be wonderful. Just passing the uh, new song, new song church. Looks like an Asian church up there off of La Crescent Avenue. All right, we're gonna make a, we're gonna go eastbound down here on Foothill, and we'll just cruise on down into town. And I know that because with my gem, I would bring my gem up here, and once you got up to here, you could pretty much coast all the way back to the house because it's all downhill sliding from here. Interesting story about Foothill Boulevard is that when they were originally uh, putting this broad spacious boulevard together uh, we're right on the foothills here and they ran into giant boulders well there wasn't enough dynamite in the kingdom of heaven almost to, so I'm sure they have plenty of dynamite in heaven huh fireworks <laughs> um, there wasn't enough dynamite to blow these uh, blow these big boulders up so the story goes they would dig holes <coughs> and they would dig a hole and then throw the boulder in. I don't know. It sounds kind of funny to me because I, I, my, my house, the, the, the Casa del Green above the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, uh, that, that Casa del Green, it, uh, when I went to dig in the ground, just put a daisy in. I mean, you ran into boulders all the time. So I can't imagine anybody digging in. If you dug in, it seemed like you'd get more boulders. You'd have even a harder time. So it's hard to believe that, uh, that they'd be able to do that. Oh, well. Um, so, but the, the, the fact that they built this street really a nice boulevard, nice and smooth now and very wide. It goes all across foothills. It was all done with wagons and horses and picks and axes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Alrighty. Well, how about Jesus? <gasps> Doggy. <clears throat> Love you today. Jesus is, is the one that we want to have the relationship with. He's the one they want to have the communication with, the conversation with today. You want to talk to Jesus. You want to find out what does Jesus say. Are we having a gentle conversation with our family? If a family member screws up, and I don't know why I say if, I, really the word is when. W-H-E-N. When. When your family member screws up. That's when your family member screws up. It's really easy. You just have to uh, do what Jesus said. Just... You know, and, and because we forgive them, and because we're kind to them, and because we have a general conversation, it doesn't mean that we approve. Oh well, if I'm not if I'm not mean to them, they're going to think that I approve of their their sinful ways. Now nobody's going to think that you approve of any sinful ways. Uh, everybody knows what the standards are. Everybody knows what the, the problem is. Uh, I have a, a sin that I commit all the time. I. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm home, and we have a swinging door that goes into one of the one of the areas of the house. And you know me, I'm Mr. Go Go Go. So I blast into the door, and even though there's a yellow line there that shows you shouldn't stand there, the way that the way that room is configured, there's a closet right next to it. So Murphy's law is there's sometimes, not all the time. That's what makes it so random. Uh, there's somebody standing there, and I swing the door open and whack, and they look at me and go. Can you not do that, please? Can you please just enter? I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so it's one of my ongoing sins. But the thing is, is that um, they do it in a nice, gentle tone. You know, they understand that I didn't mean to whack them in the face and knock their dentures out. Uh, you know, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> Makes you think of Scar in the movie Lion King. We don't mean for these things to happen. Scar was talking to Simba. And, uh, you know, but then again, yeah, you killed your father. You're responsible. If you, and, and the devil starts to sow this condemnation, uh, you know, and it uh, turned out that Scar was the one. He was the one that orchestrated the whole thing, got those uh, wildebeest to stampede. And so, and then uh, it's crazy. Well, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I want to continue today to get to know Jesus. I want to continue today and get to know Jesus. I want to come to the place where I understand uh, I understand what what the Lord 
is wanting for my life today? What does God want for my life today? How does he want me to serve today? I pray every day with my family, and I pray today, and we prayed, we said, Lord, help us, help us, Jesus, to uh, know how to serve. Help us to serve better. Help us to be better servants. Help us to find ways to, to help our teacher, to help our neighbor, to, to reach out. And, and when you're working with your family and the family is maybe screwed up somehow, they made a mistake, or you think that they're wrong, rather than just piling stuff up on top of them and, and being uh, kind of maybe aggressive even, how about trying to be gentle? having a gentler conversation, have a nicer conversation, have a conversation that, that says, I love you, and I understand, sweetheart, that you, you, you didn't intend for this to end up this way. And so let's work together and let's find a resolution, find an answer, find a solution. Now anybody can, anybody can um, point fingers, remember, uh, I always get a good feedback whenever I include Theodore Roosevelt's Man in the Arena speech. I always get a good feedback. Because you remember the, the nature of the speech that it's... It's always... Oh, there we go. I say going that way. <laughs> I got the emergency vehicle and then it's going back the other way. <coughs> so... Maybe lose my train of thought there. We, I'm trying to play the tape back. What was I saying before the, before the siren came on? Um, I did the right thing, I pulled right over. Uh, but we want to, to, to grow in our, our gentleness, our loving kindness, our, our patience. We want to help our relationship to be strong and gentle and sweet. We want to exude Jesus. And like Judas Smith said, we want to become more gentle and kind and loving and, and, and patient and understanding than we've ever been in our lives uh, today. We want to be able to, to find the joy of service, the joy of service, the joy of servicing our family in a way that, that says, I love you, so that every interaction says, I love you. And even, uh, I heard a story of a prisoner who was in jail. And this this uh, this poor soul was in the jailhouse now. Remember that? Right? What was that one? I'm in the jailhouse now. You're in the jailhouse now. It was. There's a famous movie about that. Well, this guy was in the jailhouse, and there was a there was a, a prisoner that he was stuck with. That was, I guess, sort of a sort of a, a, a no good person. Can you imagine that? Someone in the jail that was a no good person. I mean, just. <laughs> Who would be in the jailhouse that it wasn't an awesome, A-plus, wonderful, outstanding citizen? Well, this guy was really a bad, bad hombre. So the weaker, the weaker guy, he was saying, you know, he's, the sergeant called him out for some reason. <coughs> and he said, hey, how's it going? And the guy said, well, I'm kind of scared. You know, that guy's saying all kinds of weird, weird stuff. And hi, 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 hi. Well, the sergeant didn't even blink an eye. He immediately took the uh, the prisoner, uh, you know, to the side said, "You wait over here into the cell over here," and then he moved the moved the young person uh, to another cell. And even though he was the sheriff, even though he had the guy in the jailhouse, even though there was that uh, the the matter that had to be dealt with, the, the the sergeant, I think that the guy said he was Sergeant Armstrong. Sergeant Armstrong. Uh, was so loving and so kind and so sweet and even though he was dealing with with a jailhouse situation he was loving and kind and sweet and that's just so so nice well today let's let's show that loving kindness the way that jesus would let's let's represent jesus with everything that we are and every conversation we have amen 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 give me a call would you i'd love to have a conversation with you and let's see if i can be like jesus let's see if you can be like jesus I'm, I'm really a challenge 213-713-8954 or 8954 green att.net on the twitter at mr bob at bob bob 8954 and of course you're watching bob's daily devo on YouTube. I love you today. God bless you. Tomorrow's Friday. Yay. See you tomorrow. God bless.